Welcome to Sound of Hope News. I'm Daniela Wolensack. A Chinese drone entered Taiwanese airspace and was shot down by Taiwan's National Army. The area was the restricted waters of Chiyu Island, and the time was 12:03 on September 1st. Recently, the Chinese Communist Party's drones have frequently invaded the defense areas of Taiwan's outer islands, such as Kinmen, at close range. According to the Central News Agency, the Kinmen Defense Command stated that when they discovered an unknown civilian aerial camera, the garrisoned troops followed procedures. After an invalid warning, they fired shots and took the drone down. The Ministry of National Defense of the Republic of China stated that the Kinmen Defense Department will continue surveillance to maintain the security of the defense zone. In the previous two days, from August 30th to 31st, the Kinmen Defense Command had expelled four drone sorties with live ammunition. The spokesperson of the Mainland Affairs Council, Chiu Chui, said at a press conference held on September 1st that the CCP's drones should not be used purely as civil aircraft. In response to the CCP's drone intrusion, the Ministry of National Defense will take necessary and strong countermeasures in due course. In the face of various military threats by the CCP, the Ministry of National Defense has formulated regulations on emergency responses in peacetime, combat readiness, engagement, and other relevant regulations. It will take corresponding measures according to different situations. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby was asked on August 31st what he thought of Taiwan's announcement. That it would use live ammunition to drive away Chinese drones, he said that because of the CCP's unnecessary military aggression around the Taiwan Strait and arbitrary and coercive actions, the concerns expressed by Taiwan's leaders are understandable. He also said that the United States has long stated that it does not support any unilateral act or force to change the status quo, and this remains the U.S.'s current policy.